And we are back indeed with Cynthia Bardis, who of course is the beginning, I would say, the be I don't want to say beginning because really you have gone on so far, but it was because of you, Cynthia Bardis, and your darling wonderful book, Pansy at the Palace, that we have just been discussing. And then it went so much further into a musical and it's gone all around and now it's coming back to Riverside Theater. But I want to take a, a step back a little bit with you because when Poodleville comes here on February 6th and 7th, once again, to the Riverside Theater, you're going to be sitting out here, and yet you're probably going to be looking at this precious, is this Poodleville? This is Pansy. Oh, this, this is Pansy, that's right. Stuffed animal. That's that right. I sell, um, well, my best place is Bergdorf Goodman in Ooh. New York. <laughs> They wow. have all my books and oh, the, oh, Pansy. So, um, but and these will be sold. Books. These will be sold after the performances oh, with good. the books. So. Oh, how wonderful! And when you say with the books, it's many, many more than just Pansy at the Palace. You went on further. Where did Pansy go from the Palace? Pansy went to Paris next, and solves a mystery of missing art. Pansy is a poodle detective. Uh -huh. That's what distinguishes it. I don't know of any other children picture books, aged three to seven, that have a detective. So the children just love it the first time. They're listening. They're waiting for the end. And then parents read it four or five times at a seating because they love knowing the end. Oh, I they love, love it. knowing, and they're doing this, and I've seen them. And it's a happy ending. <laughs> and they come to book signings, and a four-year-old George came to a book signing in Chicago dressed as the villain out of oh. Pansy at the Palace. Uh -huh. Wasn't Pansy originally adopted from a shelter? In the book. In the book. In the book. That's what I mean. And when you get all of the books, and then you come to Riverside Theater on February 6th and 7th. And you see the you shelter, see, yes. and it's the oh. most ingenious set that D.J. Salinger did, making... Oh the shelter on stage, on a very small but wonderful stage at the Children's Theater. And the, the curtain is beaded gold dog bones. It's just absolutely <laughs> divine. It. Gold footprints on the stage, but the sets are extremely wonderful. And the, the costumes music. are music. just fabulous, made by a New York designer. DJ's the New York director, directed West Side Story, oh, wow. which was written up by the Wall Street Journal. So when people hear, I want people to know that Poodiful is for family theater. It's not children's theater with Susie May and Molly performing, which is wonderful too. These are professional actors at a professional theater professional direction and, oh, and I, music to die for. The music is unbelievable and it's been recorded at studios where Disney the Disney uses oh, how by professional singers. So the whole thing is such a wonderful first time for Vero Beach Riverside Theatricals, the new production company oh, Rich, Riverside established oh. for family theater. Beautiful. We're is, gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna take a little break, and then we're gonna come back and talk about that. I didn't realize there's a whole new entity, and it's bringing in, as you say, family theater. We have children's theater. We have Riverside Theater, which is what I say is better than Broadway. And now we have this wonderful, wonderful return of Beautiful. And oh, we're gonna talk all about that. So we're gonna take that little break, and we will be back. So don't go away. <laughs> 